most people shy away from doing a self-portrait uh, for a lot of reasons. But I think that's mainly because uh, typically portraits are about uh, the way you look. It's very face-oriented, uh, you know, frontal side view and uh, sometimes uh, silhouette. Uh, but what I think is that this has a lot of rich possibilities uh, to work with, uh, and we're going to explore that uh, in a very bold and, uh, and fun way. I'm, I'm sure many of you have done line contour, uh, and even there, uh, that can be uh, a difficult exercise because of uh, the tendency to want to look down to be accurate, uh, and you can be disappointed uh, if you're trying to make it uh, an accurate portrait. Uh, I am using my facial uh, features to uh, provide shapes for this sketch, and basically it'll wind up as a abstract composition that was indeed based on me looking in a mirror. I'm going to look at uh, and try to focus on the things that I see uh, that are actually being projected on my eyelids. Uh, and anytime you do this, it, it takes a while to focus on what you see uh, as if you were going to sleep. And, um, and so there are some very interesting things there. So what I'm seeing are textures and some forms that seem to be uh, moving. You know, and also if I turn toward uh, a light source, uh, there are like halos Another thing I emphasize is uh, doing this kind of thing with inexpensive materials. Uh, and uh, uh, th these kinds of projects, I don't want you to be inhibited by uh, you know, the cost of, of materials. And uh, just think of everything as being not precious. And uh, that way you'll have uh, more fun with it as, as well. Mm -hmm.